Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee, and smile. It's Monday, Art, Coffee and Art in the Morning. And uh, so I got lots of happy mail to show, uh, including a new member of our art tribe here from CB. I'm going to show that in a minute. I'm going to start out real quick by showing y'all a new color book real quick. Um, I, I got a message from a girl on Twitter. Her name is Aura, A-U-R-A, -A, Aura. I I'm, hope I'm pronouncing that right. And she's at Art by Aura, A-R-T-B-Y, Art by A-U-R-A, artbyaura.com. Okay? And she wanted me to show her new color book. I said, well, sure. And I said, I told her I can't promise I'll color in it. Because, you know, we got, we only have over 50 color books we're all working in. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we'll have to do that, Mel. <clears throat> so, but she sent me her new color book. It's called Fanciful Animals. And it's put out by Zen Garden Publishing. And her, it's her illustrations. Here's her name right there. Okay. So, yeah, I wanted to show her color book. And uh, on the back, 25 unique animal designs to color. Each illustration has a faint line duplicate for more creative possibilities. A total of 50 designs. Printed single-sided to avoid bleed-through. Coloring pages range from simple to highly detailed to suit any coloring mood. So, yeah, we're going to look through it. So, I wanted to show y'all. And I know white flashes out a little bit, so let's just be patient. <laughs> But I did look through, and I haven't, I haven't uh, you know, creased it yet. But anyway, fanciful animals. It's just so it's 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 unique animals and designs. Okay, so like this one here is more of a like a, a snail design. I don't know if you can see it, but there's little snails in a circle. There's little snails going around. It kind of turns it into a mandala. So I'm gonna flip through real quick, guys, and let y'all take a peek at it. And, uh, like, I really want to color this owl because, look, the stars, you could do the black background, paint the background black right there. So we'll see how much time we have. Now, of course, if I do an art project after the Happy Mail, it'll be a separate video. So I would just want to show it to you in this, this segment. But we, if we do any coloring, it will be... Uh, you want me to color, everyone wants me to color the owl. You haven't seen the whole book yet. You might change your mind. You might want something different. So you can see these porpoises going around the circle and waves. And it's printed like gray. It's printed like light gray um, instead of black. So the lines will blend away faster. You know, the lines will f uh, fade when you when you try to blend your colors. The, it won't be a black, harsh line. The gray lines will fade. <laughs> Miko wants the dolphin. Uh, it'll fade, you know, away when you color it in. Some little ponies, giraffes. Aren't they cute, guys? There's a snake. And I like how she does, you know, she puts the animals in designs. Butterflies. I hope y'all can see okay. There's a turtle. I like the turtle. A little fawn in the woods. Can y'all see okay? It's a lovely book, isn't it? I know, right? Frogs. And see, you can, you can blend them in. You can make them... Uh, camouflage or you can make them stand out from the background hey lbo well congratulations lbo is telling us well i don't know if she wants me to say that on a recording so <laughs> i better not <laughs> um there's some bears and deer and a fox eagle a, a mountain lion and a crow, a seahorse, and I don't know if you can see, but there's like cats in there. See the cat? <clears throat> She's got them nicely camouflaged. Hi, blue sky. A bumblebee, some unicorns. 
this I'm not sure if it's it's not a it's a fish right here but it looks like another animal in here it looks like a fish maybe it's a flying fish I'm not sure because there's it looks like the fish right there or it could be butter it could be a butterfly no I don't think it's a butterfly it could be a butterfly an elephant oh it is an elephant oh my gosh Carrie thank you there's the eyes look let me let me color in the eyes so you can see very camouflage good eyes Carrie good eyes all right let me get a black pencil hang on <clears throat> or a dark color here look here's the eyes good eyes Carrie it's an elephant that's a tusks I was looking at it like a fish down there but it's an elephant <laughs> there we go now it's obvious thanks guys Okay, then here we got some little cats, cat napping, four little cat nappers. Is that, that's Jean. Is that Jean and her cats? <laughs> the cat nappers. <laughs> some cactus and some, um, the, the hares. What do they call the, there's a, the wild hares, the, the wild rabbits. Um, Jackrabbits? Jackrabbits. I think that's what I'm thinking of in Texas. Or in the West. Let's put it that way. In the West. Okay, there's a koi. Koi fish. I know, Juju, right? I'm not sure what bird this is. Could be... I'm not sure. A blue jay, maybe. The feathers look like a blue jay, but I'm not sure. Some butterflies. A whole school of all kinds of fish around a cat let's see the cat silhouette but look it's surrounded by fish isn't that cute yeah i thought it could be a blue jay yeah and then here's the cat silhouette isn't that neat looking this would be cool not to color the cat just color the fit color everything but leave the cat white like that like a white persian okay then here's the snails Flying fish. I'll get a little too close there. A different owl. This one's a flying owl because the other one had the other owl. Hang on. Oh no, it is the same. Oh, okay. This is what she is talking about. They have the lighter version and the darker version. That's what she meant. Okay, now I get it. Took me a minute. Okay, that's why I was going to say, why isn't this showing up on camera? Because this is the gray version. This is the light. This is dark gray. This is light gray. It's not even black. It's like dark gray. And then here's the light gray. So if you want to shade away the lines. Yes. But look, see, here's the difference. Can y'all see? Here's the dark gray lines. And here's the light gray lines. So you can do one where it doesn't show the pens, the um, l the inking, the ink lines. Yeah, so that's it. So they're all du duplicates of that. Yeah, awesome. We'd have to try to do color one that is in the light gray. Oh, well, I don't think we can do that on stream. You won't be able to see it, okay? We'd have to color the one with the dark lines on stream. Yeah, because it's not even showing up on camera, is it? I mean, you can't even see it. Yeah. So it's called Fanciful Animals, a coloring book for adults. Illustrations by Ara Lesnanjak. I'm no, I know I'm not pronouncing that right. <clears throat> Zen Garden Publishing. And yeah, this is what she said. Each when she said each illustration has a faint line duplicate, I didn't realize that literally there was a second page so they have a duplicate for the creative possibilities a total of 50 designs so if you want to do the light color one the light gray line one 
so that it would be like the uh, black lines would almost fade away. Hey, Basuli. <laughs> I know it's visualized, but it just, I like, say, I don't know, I like saying Basuli. But yeah, her name's visualized. Um, you can see it not too much, yeah. Yeah, so if we colored a page in here, we'd have to color the dark lines because on camera it's not going to show up. So anyway, but that's, if y'all want to check out, oh, no, 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 wait, what's our thing again? It's um, investigate the awesomeness. I have it written down, Janet. Investigate the awesomeness <laughs> of the fanciful animals. Uh, so look that her up. She's on, uh, here's her website. Uh, where was it? I saw it. Where was her website? Oh, it's on her card. Hang on, guys. Let me get her card. And she did this painting, too, on this card, guys. She said that it's acrylic on canvas. Her website is www.artbyaura.com. Artbyaura.com. And then there's one of her there's one of her uh, acrylics. It's pronounced, oh good grief Jean, I can't even hardly pronounce it in the phonetic way you put it in. <laughs> well here you go. There's the name so y'all pronounce it however you want but there it is if you want to find it. And it's artbyara.com. Okay? <laughs> you girls so yeah go look at it and we'll try to uh, I don't know that we'll color one today and uh, but when we do I do want to do the owl so I think I'm going to put her card in here so we can uh, bookmark the owl because I really like that owl everybody likes the owl isn't that cute because I would really like to color the black, you know, behind the stars, the trees. Very lovely. Very lovely. Beautiful artwork. Thanks so much, Ara. So y'all uh, explore the awesomeness. <laughs> oh, so thank you. We'll try to we'll try to get to a col coloring a page in it at some point. Looks like the circle in the back might be the moon. The circle in the back might be the moon. I'm not sure what circle, but y'all can look at it. Okay, so I'm gonna get on with the happy mail. And uh, yeah. I know it is. Hey, Lindsay Whimsy. <clears throat> All right, let me take a sip of coffee here, guys. Okay, so CB, CB sent us Lulu. <laughs> let me move on here. So Lulu is our newest sock monkey member of the art tribe. <laughs> And she sent this letter. Let me read the letter. I love the, I love her uh, printed letter here and her uh, stationery. And she had everything wrapped up so nice. And I love this tissue. This is going to have to be an art journal page. We might have to do some napkin art because it's she. I got awesome napkins. I'm telling you. And look at this card. Okay, so I'm not sure. Yep, she made it. Okay, so it, I couldn't, I mean, awesomeness card. Wait do y'all see the dimension when I hold it sideways. Now, CB says, oh, I don't make cards. Well, I think she means that she doesn't make cards for anybody but us. <laughs> because look at this card. The background is, and I don't want to scream at y'all. The background is embossed white paper. And it's not going to show up, the embossing. But the background is a white embossed paper. But look, all this is individual, little. I don't know if she cut these out or what. But <laughs> look at that dimension. Every bit of this. Can you all see? Every bit of my card is, is dimensional there. And then the little hummingbird, which I love hummingbirds. That's uh, like me, my grandma, and mom's bird. <laughs> 
So, and look how she put the ruby red throated butter, butterfly, hummingbirds um, glitter. I mean, that's so beautiful. I know, right guys? And then it's layered here. See the layers? But look at that hummingbird. You know what y'all need to do? If CB comes to the Maryland um, retreat this year, get her to show y'all some of her cards. Oh my gosh. Isn't it stunning? I mean, I just keep looking at all the layers. See all the pop dotted little flowers? I hope y'all get the sense of the dimension of it. I'm trying to capture that. Isn't it beautiful? So this is the card that she made me with the letter. Let me read the letter. Okay, here we go. All right, let's put her here so you can see her a little bit. <laughs> Dear Dee, Dee, just a note to say thank you for all your streams. They are both educational and entertaining. I know that many of your viewers are not as mobile as you and I. Your streams provide a community of like-minded people for them to share with and socialize. Friends in the box are a great thing. I have enclosed the latest batch of cards, a true hodgepodge. Most are birthday, but a few are not specific. As you can tell, I have no style. And she means, not that she doesn't have, not that she has doesn't have style, but she doesn't have a specific style. Because, funny, that's style right there. That's some style. That's some style. There are some watercolor, some collage, pencil, and even an origami thrown into the mix. By now, you've already spat, spotted Mademoiselle Lulu Le Sing. Sing, and I'm not sure if it's Sing or Singe. I'm not sure the French pronunciation, but it for, that's French for monkey. So maybe one of you could tell me if it's Le Sing or is it Singe or Sing? I just thought that was so clever. My little French monkey. She's so cute. Lulu Le Singe. Le Singe. <laughs> and she is just for you. Since you have acquired several sock monkeys by now, we all know how messy they can be. What with banana peels everywhere. I figured you needed a little help around the house. <laughs> Lulu has worked in some of the... Like, look, listen to the little story. She needs a butler. Well, why do you hear this, uh, Lindsay? Lulu has worked in some of the finest monkey homes and comes to you with impeccable credentials. She even insisted upon bringing her own feather duster and wearing her favorite work clothes. Her salary has been prepaid for the next five years. A consortium of art lovers covered the bill. I hope you find her an asset to your home. A word to the wise, Dee Dee. Lulu is French and has a bad habit of flirting with the males. So watch her around Hubs and Cam. Just saying. <laughs> Thanks again, Dee Dee. We love you. Carol, a.k.a. CB. P.S. Oh, she sent some postage money for Hubs. Thank him for all the post office runs. And thank you from Hubs. He said he might stop in and thank y'all for when y'all sent him postage. <laughs> so thanks for that, too, from Hubster, Carol, CB. It's pronounced like Sanjay. Sanjay. So Sin Sanjay? Sanjay? Lulu La Sanje. Thank you, Vicky. <laughs> it's because Vicky Vicky is down in the uh, in uh, Baton Rouge. She would know how <laughs> to pronounce it. La Sanje, La Sanje, La Sanje. Oh, I know I'm gonna mess it up. We'll just call her Lulu. <laughs> She can come clean your house. Isn't that cute? Isn't that so adorable? I love her. I love her. She is so cute. I love all my sock monkeys. I do. Even the one hubster got me that had a battery operated that didn't work. <laughs> Bless his heart. He saw some ad for a 
sock monkey where you twist the tail and it made a noise or something, but it didn't work. And, you know, it costs more to send it back than the thing costs. So I just said, no, I'll keep it. I'll put it with them. Okay. Sins. What? Now you're adding extra G's and Z's and J's? Oh, my gosh. Google later. It's it's not translating correctly. Okay. Thanks, Vicky BR. <laughs> hey, Pam. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for being here. But isn't that so cute? All right. Well, wait till you see her cards now. Let me put her right here so we can look at her. Because she's so cute. <laughs> Smile. Okay, so let me show you. Let me show you the napkin she sent here first. And she had all her cards and napkins were wrapped up in beautiful. Look at this tissue paper, guys. I did take them out of the tissue paper. Look at this tissue paper. This one and this one. Look. I mean, where do you find this gorgeous tissue paper? Hallmark or something? I mean, that's just stunning. Tissue paper. CB. Look, it's got the little chickadee. Lulu's a sweet name for it. It is. Okay, and then this was stuck on the uh, my envelope. I had to keep that. I have to keep the little uh, my name thing there. I'm going to put that somewhere with it. <clears throat> so some of the um, napkins that she sent, and she sent plenty, and I try to, I try to send these in happy mail, guys, so, you know, to share them and I love using the napkins in the big Moloch Skeena you know our giant oversized journal the 14 by what is it it's more than 16 it's 14 by I don't know the big one that's what I want I like to use the napkins in especially now because my napkin journal is you know taken apart I know right Jean okay look at these we might have to put, we might have to glue some napkins down today. I'm telling you, we might have to, because my, in, uh, I got another Happy Mail, and I haven't opened them, the individual packs yet from Blondie, and she sent some napkins too, so we might have to glue some napkins today in the big Mola Skeena. <clears throat> Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Botanical Registry. Then these that look like watercolor. She sent like three or four of each. I'm just kind of spreading them out so you can kind of get a look at them. Look at that. Looks just like a, I mean, well, it is somebody watercolored painted that, right? And then they made it into a, a pad or a napkin. You know, you wonder who, where, I mean, uh, some, of the, uh, some of the companies you can probably really research easily. Like a famous, you know, if there's a, a name on the on the package of the napkins or something. But, you know, some artist paints these, doesn't get credit for the designs, and they're put on all kinds of napkins and paper products and cups and plates. And, you know, some artists did all that work. So every time you look at a beautiful paper product that you might be, like a paper plate, remember somebody painted that. Somebody painted that beautiful picture, even if it's a vintage picture. Okay, then here's an, another piece of that uh, tissue paper folded up. Here's some more napkins. Let me kind of look at these. Are they beautiful? You get a lot of yours at uh, Tuesday morning. Yeah, we had a two local Tuesday morning. It closed down. There's other ones around the area, but not in my little town. They closed down. I think we were, were here for about a year. And then some of the, the chickadee tissue paper. Some of that. And then some um, more of the napkins that I just showed you, but she used these to wrap, wrap things up in. And I just took them apart. <clears throat> They're just beautiful, aren't they? Look at this one with the butterflies. Just love them. Okay, so now let's look at her cards. She sent a big stack of cards. 
sit here and watch now, Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go through each one all right and she said they're a hodgepodge of different kinds of styles and all of them are awesome guys and she does initial so if you get a card with the little CB it's our Carol CB Carol that did these just so you know um, Eileen has her own little signature Sherry has a stamp Sherry has a Sherry pink has a stamp and but please y'all sign your cards because People, when they get them, they ask me, well, who made that card? Well, if it's not signed on the back and I don't remember what card I send to who, Ma, <laughs> then I can't tell you. You got the greatest now because of your Tuesday morning. You're playing. Yeah, Tuesday morning has awesome napkins. So look at the little girl here. And I think she's, uh, I'm not sure uh, if that's, there's a stamp line CB and again I'm out of the stamp line loop so I'm not sure who does these is it gorgeous girls there's gorgeous girls there's the one Cher uses that are called um, oh, I can't remember them all right now but look she watercolored it the background that's a little watercolor guys isn't that beautiful Yeah. Gorgeous girls. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how you spell it either. Maybe Miko spelled it right there. I'm not sure. But look, and she glittered it up with some stickles. Look at her dress and her little crown. I'm guessing stickles. I'm not sure, but that's what I would think for that tiny little dots. And that's so pretty. Look, and look, this is all punched out, guys. It's it's like um Honeycomb cut out. That's all cut out. Now, here's what I wonder. <laughs> this, and CB glues things down well. This is, that is pretty much all glued down, guys. I don't know how she got, she achieved that. But that's, it's, it's uh, cut. That's cut out. Isn't that so pretty? Hey, Dasha, anybody else I miss coming in? <clears throat> okay we're gonna go through each I love I'm sorry people I, I'm not sorry I love happy mail I love showing off y'all stuff you send it I'm showing it off just saying I love it I love I like just embracing the details okay so this is an embossed butterfly and an embossed this is embossed paper something and cut out guys you can't tell and again I'm not sure how she achieves that glueage but all that is glued down so well but that's a, a cutout that's a cutout on top of this look how it she just makes it look like a full-on painting you like to watch happy mail i love watching everybody's happy mail when someone's doing happy mail i love watching it and then the butterfly is a cutout punch out and this is overlay so the two it's two separate bits and the this punch out or cut out is overlaid but what kind of how do you glue yeah it's die cut flowers but how do you glue them down because that's well glued I'm telling you I cannot I've never achieved that with my glue stick or my tacky glue <laughs> and that's stunning guys and again this is a, one of the birthday ones and then she signs them. I'm waiting to see the glue tip. What kind of glue she uses. Or what kind of, uh, how she achieves that. Tombow Mono Glue has a nice tip. Okay. Tombow Mono Glue. T-O-M-B. Tombow Mono Glue. It has a nice tip. Jean likes the Tombow Mono Glue too. Very carefully, yeah. Hey, Gira Luna, Gira, Gira Luna. Hey, Jan. Lady True North, my cad fell buddy. <laughs> and then here's another birthday one. And look how it's it's stamped. It's like over, she stamped it separately. And, and this, so that's stamped. And then this is like a pop-up 
card area. And look how she did that. She left that black and white. See how she left that black and white? And then colored the stamped top area that is popped up. That's so clever, CB. Oh my gosh. All you girls that are paying to take card classes, CB, you need to, you need to be having a card class. Just saying. I mean, is there any card class that's any better than this? Serious? I'm serious. I'm serious. And I don't take any card classes, so I can't say, but some of you girls take a lot of card classes. And I don't know. I can't imagine anything being better than these cards. <clears throat> For, and it's such a variety. Okay, so here's one of her origami ones. <laughs> look, guys, I'm telling you. Look, it's a little origami kimono, girl. Look. Look, this is all origami, and she glued it down well, so I can't, like, tuck my finger under there to show you the origami folds. But it's it's on, like, um, it's on some kind of a specialty paper. It's, that's, like, it's almost like, um, it feels like the crepe paper, but it's not crepe paper. It's, like, thicker. But look, it's like origami folds. I know. I know that's so cute. And then she's got the inked background. The Tombow Mono Mullet is permanent. If you attach the item right away, but if you let it dry before attaching, then it's a repositionable glue. Oh, so that's why the multi is in the name. The Tombow Mono Multi. So there's, I guess, two kinds, Jean. Jean was just, uh, Music Scrap was just telling us about the different glues. So you can use the Mono Multi glue as repositionable if you let it dry before attaching. Awesome, Jean. That's a good tip. Look at her. and she's so sweet, guys? No, I know. Oh, well, we, we got a stack here, guys, and they're all different. Okay, so this is a Just For You birthday card. Look at her. A little frog there with the with the uh, uh, wizard hat, and look at the see she's got it glittered up with the stickle. Little tutu. I don't know. Does this one not open? I thought they. I think it does. Maybe I just there it is. I couldn't find it. Yes, yeah, blank. It's blank inside because she's got the birthday thing on the front. Little presents. Look at the little stickles. It's the Tombow in the green and white bottle. I know, Marie. And see, look, it's popped up. It's all dimensional. Try to show y'all. Look, see, it's got another layer right here. It's a night. It's layers. Layers, people. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, y'all are going to, you, you get, uh, you know, I love every card and everybody's style is different. I love them all. But I got to tell you, CB puts in the details. She puts in some details. It's kind of like Sherry does her cutting of her little dolls and paper pieces, the clothing. I don't know how, how you do that. I would not have the patience for that. Okay, so look at this one. Here we go. This little wreath, this is all embossed here. It's kind of like... Um, I'm not... I know there's a name for that kind of embossed paper, but... It, that's all embossed, but look at that wreath. Now look at these tiny little flowers. Each one is a separate little flower. Everyone's a separate little flower glued on, and then little stickles in the middle, and then the wreath is a die cut wreath. See? Bow, little bow. They're all amazing, aren't they? And it's a birthday one. <clears throat> Here's another one of those double stamped, the black and white left on the edge, leaving the black and white on the edge, and then coloring the center. Look at that, look at that coloring, guys. I think it's color pencil, it might be color pencil and watercolor. Look at that coloring. Look at that coloring. CB, we need, you need to, you need to step up your game, girl, and start doing some streams. <laughs> 
We love to rope in the streamers, I tell ya. Hey, Judy Patootie. Anybody else I missed? Look at that coloring, guys. I'm trying to keep it so you can see it. <laughs> this one's pencil. Okay, thanks, CB. Some are watercolor, some are pencil. Look, they're all just so happy. Celebrate. And this one's got a, uh, like a, a tie cut, I mean, a, yeah, you know, a butterfly. <laughs> and all this is, this is embossed pieces of paper. I don't know if you can see. It's got that, it's that kind of embossing that feels like rubbery. There's a certain kind of embossing that you can do that has that rubbery feel. It's not a glittery feel. It's like a rubbery feel. And I don't know. I forget what kind it is. But she's got, these are individual little bits, guys. These are individual little embossed card pieces. Very Asian. Okay. <laughs> Celebrate your day and we'll have the little monsters. And then on these, she has the little eyeballs are like glossy accent. Glossy accented, see? <laughs> and then the stickles. So cute. Look at that, guys. I'm trying. I think it's showing the glitter really well today. I know, right? And some she has a cinnamon stamped and some are just blank. And then all this is like, uh, I, I don't know if it's a cameo. You have a cameo? Is that what you're cutting out on? Um, CB, a cameo. This is all hand cut. I mean, this is all die cutted letters. Die cutted. Die cutted. <laughs> Uh, I know the little monsters. I know. Okay, then this is, has a little uh, the seam binding ribbon. Okay, goes around and that's a double. There's a double ribbon thing there. Birthday wishes. The words are a die. Okay, the words are a die. Okay, with the birthday wishes with the little seam binding. See the little seam binding. Look at the colors though. Your colors are amazing, CB. It's a Tim Holtz die. Okay. Thanks, CB. And then each one of these, each one of these is cut and glued. And look at the staggered effect there. That's such a neat effect right there. <laughs> I know, Marie, right? <laughs> and then here's another one of those beautiful hummingbirds, like she put on the card for me. And this is a birthday stamp sentiment inside. But again, I mean, it's just gorgeous. Look. See how it's pop dotted up and stickled on there? Okay. Then this one's a black and white one. Love that. Birthday wishes and the little die cut butterfly. The little die cut butterfly is all black glitter. I'm guessing stickles because none of this is coming off so stickles doesn't come off so I'm thinking it's stickles is that the kind of glitter that you're using is stickles CB and then the ribbon right there birthday wishes see the little butterfly wing is just kind of floating on top let's see if I can grab it there see it's floating on top it's a paper you die cut a glitter paper. But what about like on the, on like this? Like this. What kind of glitter is this, CB? <clears throat> it's just beautiful. This, I think she says, cut out of a glitter paper. That's beautiful. Glitter paper. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Oh, another one that I love. Look at this. Okay. This is just, this is like over the top beautiful. They're all, everybody, and don't get me wrong. I love everybody's cards. Everybody has their own style. 
that speaks about them. It is stickles on the on the uh, hummingbird. Okay, thanks, CB. I didn't. I thought it was because it, the glitter doesn't come off, right? Okay, Prima would be jealous. This card. This card, and I'm thinking these are not glued. I think these are. Um, they might be. They might be individual little pearl bling. Or is it like the pearlescent stickles? Like the, it's not stickled, but pearl, the pearl stickled things. Is that what this is, CB? Or are those individually glued little bling? Because they're little pearl bling. I don't know if it's the little squeeze, squeeze out the pearlescence. And then look at the ribbon, but look at these flowers. Look how that's all. This is all. <laughs> Lynn says, it's the first time I have die cut in V. <laughs> how do I, I kind of, how do I pick who I give which one to? Well, it, like during a week, during a week, I usually will pull out a person's, like one week it might be Sherry cards, one week it might be Eileen cards, one week it's Sammy Jammy cards, like that. <clears throat> and then I'll, when, like for instance, I'll take this stack for that per, that week, and I try to kind of match it up to the person as best I can, as best I can. So yeah, isn't that beautiful? Liquid pearls. Thank you, Sandra. Liquid—that's the word I was looking for. Liquid pearls. I couldn't think of it. It's not stickles, but it's the same kind of little jar. You squeeze it out. <laughs> Liquid pearls. Thank you. Thank you, Z. So yeah, all the little details. I just like to sit and admire them, enjoy it, you know, enjoy the art of it. Okay, here's another one where she is double stamped and left the background black and white and colored the top. And this isn't like, what I think it's watercolor. That one's watercolor. I mean, it's not color pencil. So it's either watercolor or a watercolor marker. I'm not sure which. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it's yummy goodness without being food. That's true, Terry. So thanks for sharing these with us all. Experiencing the awesomeness. That is right. That's right, Terry. I know. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Everybody's oohing and on. <laughs> and look at this one. This is a perfect one for someone's birthday in October. Because of the colors, you know, the fall colors, right? Okay, so the background is some kind of a, it feels like a specialty kind of paper that's got some kind of a glazed, it's not glitter, but it's a sheen to it. It's a, some kind of a specialty paper. Then she's got a couple, well, she's got a layer of the leaves, layer of this flower, a layer of this flower, tiny flower, and then again, the butterfly, the black butterfly cut out of the black glitter paper. The watercolor is distressings. Oh, okay. So there you go. There's a promo for distressings right there, people. <laughs> and then a little happy birthday. And again, see, look at all the layers, guys. Just a lot of detail. A lot of a lot of uh, time went into these cards. The background is fabric that you jellied. Oh my gosh, but what's that sheen on it? Is the sheen the fa is the sheen the fabric? It's an awesome kind of different kind of sheen to it. It's kind of feels kind of textury. Okay, McCarroll, thanks for watching. Have sleep well. Got to remember some people are on the other side of the world. Hey, Angie Bell. Anybody else? Mountain Dreamer Teresa, Bryn Bryn Anybody else popping in? Thanks, everybody, for being here. So you said this is a uh, jelly-plated fabric, but what's the making it that sheen? 
it's a it's an, a different cup feel either PBO paints or sprays you can't remember okay see the sheen to it guys it's really pretty well they're all gorgeous and then the last one here is a purple lavender and it looks like she um, dyed the seam binding with the lavender edge it's just so beautiful there's a doily behind that layer there's like one two three four five six layers on this card <laughs> look at that and it, I don't I don't want to flash it out but it's a nice beautiful purple and lavender like lilac and lavender colors it looks like sprayed okay and again I'm not sure what you colored this with but it's an embossed quilt thing and I gotta say guys I can't conf I'll have CB confirm this but I think she hand pinned all those stitches did you hand pin with a with a micro pen all those stitches CB uh, are every one of those stitches hand drawn hey Heather I know everybody's having fits over in the chat over her cards. Thanks everybody for being here. Marie, Marie Gale. Just paper you didn't color, you did pin that. Okay. Oh my gosh. So she hand drew all those stitches. So much detail. Thanks so much, CB. And everybody's going to be thrilled to get, well, I mean, everybody's thrilled anytime they get a handmade card from anybody in the group. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Lulu is going to clean. <laughs> ah, CB sent this. If y'all are just joining us, I did read the letter CB said about Lulu. So if you just got here, go back and watch the recording. We've, we've only been here about 45 minutes. So, yeah. Read the little note up from CB. Thanks so much, CB. And again, I think we might do a, uh, we might do, oh, her little, look. Oh no, her little apron is coming untied. We have to tie her little apron back on. <laughs> so adorable. Oh my gosh. So adorable. So uh, we might do a, a page in the big journal so that we can use some of these napkins. CB, oh, so Lynn is saying CB seven years in Japan really had a major influence on her art for sure. I did not know she spent seven years in Japan. That's new, that's new to me. Thanks, Lynn. I know every card is amazing. I, I mean, I love being able to share cards with you guys. So thanks so much for sharing them with me so that I can share them back with you guys. Can Lulu come to your dishes? Hi, <laughs> Angie. Uh, and I, some of y'all might have seen, um, since I just saw Angie here, some of you might have seen, um, I was going to try to keep it a surprise, but Angie Bell posted it in in the middle of Twitter. That's a fine. Doesn't matter. It's fine. But my next uh, shout-out drawing is going to be Angie Bell. Um my Fairy Treasures Angie Bell shout YouTube drawing person. And it probably won't be, I guess it's probably going to be in June. Because next week, next Monday, I have jury duty. And so I have to just do a couple hour show. And that's not enough time to do a portrait. So it will probably be the second Monday in June when we draw Angie Bell. So be looking for that. Awesome. I can't wait to draw her hair. I'm going to see if I can show her picture here. Oh, yes, Angie. I'm going to show your picture. <laughs> so we're going to draw Angie Bell. Let me find my pictures. Let me find my photos. Camera roll. Let me crop it down. Okay, no, 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 no. Cancel. So here's our Angie Bell. I can't wait to draw her hair. I am so serious. I cannot wait to draw her hair. Oh, so that will be my next uh, portrait. She made Lulu's costume. Are you kidding me? CB made the costume. No, she did not say that in the letter. Oh, my goodness. All right, now we have to review, the, review this again. Oh, my gosh. 
Okay, so the little hat, look at this. It's it's like made up, it's like, um, what do you call it? Uh, si um, not sizing. What's the word I'm looking for? But it, it's, it's, she made it a stiff. And then, look, that's all edged. Look. Oh, my gosh. And it's tied on the back. There's her little regular, you know, the sock monkey cap. Oh, my gosh, CB. And did you make the feather duster? And she glued her hand around it? Oh, M goodness. CB. Little, little uh, French knots. French knots on the apron. Oh my goodness, CB, it's so cute. I did not know you made the outfit. And then she's got the tie for the apron and the tie for the little hat. How, I'm even more impressed. You made the duster. Oh my goodness. You have a second career in, in dressing sock monkeys. I'm telling you, CB, that is so cute. Oh, that's all right, Angie Bell. That's all right. I just said I knew it wasn't going to be for a couple of weeks to draw you, so I didn't want to post it too early, but that's fine. It's fine. Isn't that so cute? It makes Lulu even more special. I did not know you made it all. Okay, we got to hug the awesomeness that is Lulu. It is a whole nother level, right? It's a whole nother level of creativity. Look at that. And this, I don't know how she made that. It's, it's like stiff. It's like, I don't know if she covered some heavy cardstock, but it's fabric on, and that's all little lace. Little lace etching right there. Oh, so cute, CB. You don't want that career. <laughs> She is so cute. And the feather duster. But look, guys. She took her hand and she sewed it around the feather duster. Look at that. In the <laughs> ah, CB. Uh, I know. I did not know that she had done that. Thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks, Lynn, for letting me know that she made that. I did not know. She didn't mention that. That she made the outfit. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, CB. That's just awesome. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some napkin journaling today. Maybe a combination color book page cutout, or um, we'll see. But I really want to use some of these napkins and tissue paper. And uh, I know Blondie sent some too. I'm getting ready to show Blondie, Blonde Girl Stampings Happy Meal. I don't know if she's here. Hey, Barb. And the boys, Barb and the boys. I don't see Blondie here. And if there's anybody else I missed, thanks for being here. But I can tell in the little packages that she sent some napkins too. So we're going to have to do, or at least got to glue some down. Okay. <laughs> Bye, CB. I CB had an appointment, so she, I knew she couldn't be here all day. So thanks, CB, for being here and, and while we opened your happy mail. So beautiful. Everything. Thanks so much. Oh, and by the way, let me say this, since I just saw Barb and it reminded me, Barb and Carrie, Barb and Carrie, Barb and Carrie, <laughs> that reminds me of that, uh, uh, I forget the name of the show now, it just slipped my mind, but anyway, they did uh, Doug, and, Doug and Carrie, uh, anyway, that was, a, that was a whole nother rabbit trail, anyway, so Barb and Carrie both sent things for my mom, and my, I sent them to my mom. I sent the, the Mary Inglebright stamp set, the Mary Inglebright pages from Carrie. Barb had a couple of books in, the, in her Happy Mail that she thought, you know, one she thought mom would like, the other I knew mom would like. So I, sent, I put together mom, a Happy Mail, you know, big, you know, the oversized uh, priority envelopes and sent it to her. She got it on Saturday and she was thrilled. She was thrilled. Let me uh, see here exactly what she said. Let me go to my messages. But she got it on Saturday, and she was so appreciative that you guys thought of her. 
and she said, love, love my happy mail. So very special. Exclamation, expl, expl, you know, yeah, ex, you know, exclamation mark three times. Made my day. Thank your girls for thinking of me. I may check in on Monday on your stream. And then she told me I was a special daughter and thanked me. Uh, but they, uh, one of their big oak trees fell down and they had storms. And, and CB, I should have just asked her how, uh, before she left in San Antonio, how the uh, weather, she weathered the weather. But anyway, that big storms come through San Antonio about a week ago and it blew down one of their hundred year old oak trees. So she's having to get all that mess cleaned up. It did not hit that. Excuse me. It did not hit the house or anything, which was wonderful. But she had, they have a big mess to clean up. So I really don't expect her here today. But um, you're gonna steal. You're gonna steal my mom too. You already stole my daughter. <laughs> you stole Denise, APG Jamie, APG Jamie, and uh, Darcy Glam. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Hubster. Uh, yeah, Hubster's coming in to say thanks to the ladies for the happy mail. He does appreciate some stamps, let me tell you. Because <laughs> I give him a lot of mail to mail. I give him a lot of mail. And he's my mailman. So he's in the chat right now telling everybody thank you. I know. He's awesome, isn't he? Okay, let's get on to the next. Hang on, guys. Got more happy mail. So Blondie, Blondie sent a box. Oh, Mom's there, but she's having trouble chatting. Okay, thanks, Mom. Aw, she's having trouble chatting. Okay, let me tell her. Just said hi to you in show. Okay. So I think mom might be here, but she can't. She's having trouble chatting. So thanks, mom, for stopping in amongst your tree chopping. Tree chopping. Okay, so let me get on with our happy mail here. Then we'll do a separate show with the project. Yeah. So mom, everybody is saying hi to you. Okay, Mel G, thanks for stopping in. I know you. Mel's got a summer job, so she's uh, only... I'm, I'm surprised she's here at all. So thanks, Mel, for stopping in. So Blondie, Blonde Woman Stamping, you know, she's sent us Happy Mail before. Oh, I want to move these cards. Let me move my cards and my letter. But uh, Lulu's got to sit here and, and watch. So she has sent us Happy Mail before and a lot of stamping things. Uh, stamp things and tissue stamped and stickers and I've pretty much given everything away that she's given us I think I have a sheet left of her the little um, what do you call it film slide the slides the slide things that she puts the stamped images on vel not vellum acetate the acetate slide film stamped little acid you know um film slides that she's made. I've got a few of those left. But I, tr I really do try to give away as much as possible, guys. Okay, now I'm st I'll still be recording. Okay, so she sent a bunch of happy mail that I tried to resist opening. She, <laughs> she sent a whole bunch of package, little packages, and I've not, I've opened a peek in a couple, but I've not really opened any of these yet. So how this came was in a box. Mom's listening. Say hi to everyone and thanks again for the happy mail. So mom's thanking Barb and Carrie again for um, the happy mail. She just messaged me that to tell y'all thank you. So she had <laughs> she had everything done by layers. She had you know layers of cardboard like this, right? And then she <laughs> this was one of the layers that she had. <laughs> she had it packaged in layers. And this was like one of the bottom layers. It said, keep digging. More goodies under there. <laughs> Mom, Carrie said, you're very, she's very, well, you're very welcome. Yeah. <laughs> I 
guys look they're so click cute oh my gosh yeah so one of the layers she sent me the astronomy 365 days of astronomy book and it's kind of like a janice uh b lilith janice sent me all the astronomy magazines oh my gosh i love astronomy anything so between um janet's Janice's astronomy magazines that she sent a while back and this now I'm gonna have to really I don't know I might have to turn this into some kind of a book I mean something but she says to Dee Dee from Blondie I call her Blondie let the ripping out of the pages commence Because she knows I love, you know, well, y'all know I love space and stars and nebula, anything, you know. And so, <laughs> you know, and I do try to replicate a lot of this kind of thing with paint. But when you get a whole book of it, I don't know, I might have to do some kind of mix. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to think about it. <laughs> oh, so... <laughs> do something fabulous with this book it's a big i have the comic book the 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 book of comics vintage comics that i do kind of cut up sometimes out of it and it's the same size let me go grab it i'll show you what i'm talking about this one it's the same time. I don't even know. It might be the same publisher, but it's the it's on comics. The Golden Age of DC Comics, 365 days. And I gotta say, I do use this, guys. I do I do cut out things out of it, but it's like vintage comics, right? I know Tara, I think the first time years ago when I got this book and Tara saw me tear a page out of it, I think she clutched her pearls. And whimsy, Lindsay whimsy. She clutched her pearls when I tore a page out of this. But anyway, so it's the same kind of book, but the astronomy, 365 days. Yeah. So this is going to be, you know, for whatever I do, decide to do with it. But, you know, you get these books on clearance. I'm not saying she did. I don't know if she's had it for a long time or whatever. But you can get these kind of books. And, you, you know, they're going to go in the landfill if you don't use them. <laughs> okay, so let's get to crack a in on the packages here. So one of the layers, keep digging, there's more layers. She sent me some of the, uh, the, uh, the, tissue the that you the Japanese um, you know um, like my fairy treasures the um, sent me the pen the calligraphy ch Japanese calligraphy oh, I don't know why that's so hard but it's specialty calligraphy paper and um, yeah I actually think this is awesome for stamping on stamping on and I'm sure Blondie has done that too stamped on this paper like the i carry love tissue stamping so she sent me that and then the keep digging more goodies under this layer. hey rain we've been wondering where you were yeah i asked about you last week we hadn't seen you around we were hoping you were okay hadn't seen you tweet or nothing you people cannot disappear for more than a week without letting us know where you are just saying you gotta let us know where you are we start to get worried <laughs> oh, all right so let's go ahead and start opening some of these packages shall we and they're each wrapped in it's like little crispy this crispy cut and if you don't like the sound just turn your volume down i love crinkle i personally love crinkle not everybody likes crinkle but I'm not apologizing for the crinkle because I love the crinkle. Embrace the crinkle. <laughs> Embrace the crinkle. Hey, eh, silver screen. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to like crunch it up and irritate you to no end. But I you know, hey, I like the crinkle. All right. So it's a little, it's a little Japanese. It looks like a little sushi. 
little notepad. It's all in Japanese, of course. But, you know, we got to open some of these things up because they're just so stinking cute. you got to look. got to look. Okay, it's, it's a little note. I think it's little notepads and little envelopes. Maybe it's little cards. Look how cute. I love the way the Japanese package things. I mean, look, it's tiny little notes, right? And little little envelopes. Oh yes, we're gonna have to we'll have to pull one of these out and, and we'll we'll write her back. <laughs> we'll write Blondie back. Look at that. <laughs> How cute. How cute is that? It's little bento boxes or little sushis, I'm not sure. But it's adorbs. I know. This is, you know, the Japanese uh, stationery puts the definition of cute in cute. Right? <laughs> uh, dude, my sister gave some cards from Japan that came in a fabric pouch. I know, right? I know. I think, isn't chibi the word for cute? These are chibi. That means, if that means cute, not just the cute little chibi, like anime chibi, but just the word itself means cute, here we go. <laughs> yes, we'll have to use some of these. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's open the next one. I just love that sound. Don't email me. Okay. All right. Little. Okay. I'm pretty sure this says. <laughs> These are some little envelopes. Some little envelopes. But look. In Japanese right there. You can't, I don't you know. She probably can't read it either. But it says. I'm pretty sure this says rabbit trail in Japanese. <laughs> oh, Blondie. <laughs> uh, yeah, hey there. I don't know. Someone's talking about pit pins will bleed on fabric. And she prefers the Pigma Microns on fabric. Thank you for that tip, uh, Mary D. Make a whole world of just crinkles. <laughs> a whole video of crinkles, yeah. Oh, but look how cute. Because it's got the little, you know, we do our rabbit trails here. That's so cute. These little tags. I think these are little tags. Let's open them up. Oh, yes, we open everything. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, they're little mini envelopes. Look. Look how cute. Got some little, we need to put little charms in that. Send in. Um, who was it that sent the charms last week? The little key charms? Yeah, that might be nice in there. I love this. I love that. I love, I got to keep that little note with it. Because definitely <laughs> rabbit trail. I won't put, try to put them back in there, but I want to keep that with that. <laughs> so funny, I know, right? Okay. Got to make a little stacks here. It's like little, um, little uh, beautifully packaged. Okay, we're taking our time. We're taking our time. Hey, Leah. Okay, let's see. Wow. I did peek in this. See, I opened it up to peek. But I haven't taken it out of the packaging. So let's see what this is. This looks like, okay, translation rabbit trail. <laughs> oh, blondie. Okay, some more rabbit. This is origami paper. But look, it's all rabbits. And look, translation rabbit trail. <laughs> How he just went by and he said he loves my laugh. Aw, tell hubby I said thanks. <laughs> thanks, Katora. <laughs> but look at that. Translation rabbit trail. That is so clever. Does Blondie say where she got all this? No, I didn't see, but it's 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 all Japanese. So if she didn't order it, maybe um maybe um uh, what you call it, store, Daiso, maybe? I don't know. At least I haven't seen anything yet, okay? I haven't seen anything. Yeah, look, Daiso. 
Daiso, right there. <clears throat> so, yeah, she. I don't have it. I mean, maybe there's a Daiso in Atlanta. I haven't looked, but there's not one in my little town, I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, it is Daiso, Vicki. Yeah, see. So this one, oh, it looks like there's all different kinds in each package. <gasps> Looky there. And I, I have done some origami, to tell you the truth. I have done some origami. It's been a long time. But I could probably still do some origami. Not without a pattern. Don't, don't ask me to do one like right now without a pattern. I have to have a, you know, a pattern. But I have done some origami. Look at this. Okay, we got to open these. Now I've got to get out my origami pattern. You know, I don't know if it's a book or if it was a flyer or something. But I have something with origami patterns on it. I mean, how to fold. Yeah, where CB could probably fold some of these babies. I might have to send her a couple of these just to, so that she can make some of those little uh, kimono girl cards. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? She could probably, she could probably uh, rock these papers. All right, let's look at them. Okay, see, they're, they're origami papers, right? They're thin. Okay, there's a couple of the wave ones. Probably about four or five of each. Mount Fuji. I know, Rain, right? Mount Fuji. Cherry Blossoms. And again, there's, you know, four, three, four I think there's four of each. <clears throat> little scenery down here. Another Mount Fuji. Isn't that beautiful? These, you know what these would be lovely in? Planners. Planners. Right? Wouldn't these be beautiful in planners? Because they're small, you know? Look at the colors in this one. Yeah, that's the different ones. Simply stunning, as we, we try not to say too often. But yeah, in this case, we make sure that the packaging is not, I don't want any glue, let me fold that over. I don't want any glue on the papers, right? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna look at every one, but trust me. <laughs> I know, we gotta go through every one. Let me take the sticky off there and just fold it over so we don't get sticky on there. All right. Okay. Okay, this one looks like it has like one of each. Maybe two. Yeah, two of each. This one has two of each. And it's not showing up on camera, but that's very dark, dark black. There we go. There's the true color of it right there. Because it's flat, you know, the camera flashes it out some. And I'm not sure which way it goes. I guess it, could, it doesn't really matter. It could go any way you want it to. Two of those. Love them. And this one has some, like, gold in it. See? <clears throat> We're like a bunch of kids in a candy store. I know, right? Right? You know what? Maybe we should do the thousand crane thing with these. No, I mean, this is not enough to do a thousand, obviously. I guess maybe there's, oh, wait, I missed one here. It looks like there's one of those and one of these. And then a couple of these. Is that the same one? Purple, that's a very dark purple. I know. I don't know if it takes, I haven't done, I haven't researched, but they're little, so they'd have to be, you know, the thousand crane thing. I'm not sure if, um, and there's two of these, but they're very thin. Look, they're thin, thin, thin. They're origami paper. Um, what size the paper is to make the cranes? Well, and I guess you can make them any size you want, right? You can make the thousand cranes any size. Okay, so there's that one. Stacking them neatly here. Stacking them neatly. All right. <laughs> I love that. I'll put that post-it note on. Uh, let me keep that post-it note here while I open. Peel it open and slap over the 
pull the glue because I don't want to get the glue on the origami paper, right? Okay. And then I want to put the little post-it note back on here that says Translation Rabbit Trail. <laughs> With the rabbit paper. Oh yeah, look, here's a crane crane paper. I have to look into that. You know, I'm, I know y'all do know what I'm talking about, right? <clears throat> the origami, the thousand cranes. I'd made Godzilla origami. You you would make Godzilla origami. <laughs> you need a die. You can order on from Daiso online. I'm sure. Um, my daughter's ordered from like cute got me cute tapes and things on Etsy that they've got from. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can order online. Oh, look, another rabbit. Oh, my gosh. we got two rabbit trail papers. We'll have to origami some rabbits out of this. <gasps> yes. I'll have to find an, a rabbit origami pattern. Put it in my wing nut book. Oh, put this in the wing nut book? Yes, that's a good idea. I need to put this in the wing nut book. So true. Let me, I want to make sure that I have Blondie's name on there. Wait, that pin's too big. For sure. That's got to go in the rabbit trail. No, you know what? It needs not go in the wing nut now. It needs to go in the rabbit trail book. The barb scent. It's got to go in there. This will be the bookmark. This will be the book. Because I've got all our uh, limericks in here, remember? So that will be our bookmark. That's a perfect bookmark for the rabbit trail book. <laughs> and I'm going to have to make a, I'm going to have to make an origami rabbit. All right, let's look at this stack. Uh, yes, an origami rabbit with the origami paper. See, there's two different rabbits. Did I go through? No, I didn't go through. Again. Well, maybe I did go through. We'll go through them again. Aren't they great? Oh, look, butterflies with the gold in it. Origami is a different kind of... <laughs> It is. It's nice to, it's it's uh, a good relaxation, like coloring is. Oh, look at the koi pond. Cute. These are gorgeous. Thanks so much, Blondie. Let's put, let's put the two rabbits on the top. There we go. So that was that little package in the crinkle goodness. Hey, Anonymous 8458. <laughs> We're opening some happy mail. <laughs> okay, now see some of this. Now I haven't opened, like I know this is napkins in here, right? You can kind of see through it. So that's why I want to say between um, CB's napkins and these that Blondie have, has sent, we've got to probably do something in the napkin journal today. <clears throat> All right, so let's open this. I try to be kind of careful, but, you know. This one, she's, she's even duct tape this baby. I'm not sure about this one. I'm going to have to get the scissors. Oh, there it goes. I'm going to have to get the scissors out on this one. All right, let's see what this is. Looks like a little journal. Looks like a little journal. Oh, it's a giraffe journal. How cute. And it's from Daiso, too. So, in case y'all want to know, because I know y'all are wanting to know where she got all this stuff. It looks like she got most of it at Daiso. How cute is that? The back of it. Let's take this off here. I'll put this on the inside. I like to keep stickers because it lets you know not w only where you got it, but, you know, everything about it. Especially if you get it from Daiso or something like that, you want to know. So I'll put the sticker on the inside. Because we got to see the giraffe butt. You have to have, you got the front, you got to have the butt, right? Yes, giraffe butt. <laughs> 
We won't be turning this one into Frankenstein. No Frankenstein. We'll probably, we'll probably do some giveaways with some of this. Well, I know we will. I mean, I, I always tuck stuff in the in the uh, Happy Mail, too. All right, so I'm going to try to separate. I know these are napkins. We'll look at each one. But look, she wrapped up each one. Each one. <laughs> oh, look at this one. This one looks like... All right, let's, these are square. Let's open these first. Again, the crinkle. Love me some crinkle. Helps to learn the source of the materials. Yes, we do, visually. Or Vasuli, whichever one. <laughs> I like calling her Vasuli. Okay, look at these. I love this. I'm loving the paper. It's just like a, it's like a crinkly tissue paper. We got a stamp on this. I love the crinkle. I know. Then let's put the crinkle paper in the crinkle paper pile. <laughs> Look at these eggs. Now this might be, y'all know I have a, I have a, a book of egg feather nest and birds butter. I forget what they're called. Remember the two books, two art books I've shown y'all before. They're old. They're about 20 years old. Maybe more. And I forget, uh, who is it that does them? Now, I'm, I'm going to have to go with some hot coffee and get those books. So, yeah. So, I've got a couple of egg napkins here. Okay. Now, I'm going to, they're going to get mixed up now with CB's napkins. We're going to pile the napkins up. Okay. Because when I send them out to you guys, I don't remember who sent me which napkins when I share them with you guys. Some shells and boats, nautical, nautical, nautical napkins, nautical, and some beautiful butterfly and high, I think that's a hydrangea, hydrangeas, stylized hydrangeas. The other crinkle sound I love is baseball card sleeves, yes, yes, like a, yeah, the opening of like the packs, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go through each one, each one. Oh, wait, before I do that, let me go ahead and run down and get those books, just to show you. I'm going to get some coffee. I need some hot coffee anyway, guys. And let me go run and get those two art books while I'm thinking of it. to go to the library okay so I'll show you these when I get done but they're a seed leaf flower fruit and it's Marjo Mary Jo Mary Jo Koch and then the other one is bird egg feather nest these are the what made me think of this I don't know for a fact that this is her design but it looks so much like it. So I'll show you those books when we get done with the Happy Mail. Oh, catch my breath. She just leaves them there to drool on. <laughs> yes, of course. And Carla, your book went out today. Hubster's mailed it today. Your journal for the shout out for your YouTube, Carla. Cagefish Carla, your book went out today. Carrie's will go out with a couple other things this week too. I want to finish. I have some more finishing touches to do on carries, though, before it gets mailed. <clears throat> okay, well, um, Gene streams at four, Carla, today. I mean, I don't know if you know if you knew that. Yeah, Gene streams at four. Okay, so we'll show we'll show that book here when we you know after I do finish the happy mail. But I would like to check and see if that is almost the exact same pattern. If it's not the exact same pattern, it's very similar. Okay, let's keep opening. Crinkle. Okay. 
Okay, this, I don't know if some of these, uh, is that the same one? That's one of the ones that CB sent? No, it's different. No, it is the same. So we got extras of these. I love these. The irises. I think I might do a page with this. I love the irises. <clears throat> Fish. Oh, oh my gosh. How, much, how cute is that? Sand dollars and fish. I love these. These are so fun. If y'all have not done napkin journal pages, you're missing out. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Jean. Thanks for your happy meal, Sonny. Oh, you're welcome, Pam. Don't worry about it. I just wanted to, you know, shout you out a little bit and, you know, uh, send you a little something, something. Then here's a little bird with roses. They're just all so beautiful. I mean, it's like little works of arts in themselves, isn't it, guys? Yeah, we'll be doing something with napkins. We'll have to do something with napkins. Okay, so let's keep going. I got something in here, too, that I did kind of peek at. But I didn't really, um, I didn't really uh, observe it closely. But I, I did peek at that. I'm going to show that last. It's very cool. I've never seen, I've never seen anything like this. Yes, we love our crinkle. Most people, most of us like the crinkle. All right. Now, I, I love the, <laughs> the little, everything she took such care. Okay. Ooh, look at this one. Pinks and lavenders. Whole stack of those. Plenty to share. Between her and CB, we, we could probably do a whole, na I wonder if we should do a whole new napkin journal. A journal all with you know a new a new one rather than because you know my big one is like deconstructed all the in other words when I say deconstructed all the pages are loose I wonder if I have a journal around here where we can just do a whole napkin journal oh don't tempt me don't tempt me people I could do a whole napkin journal in a day I'm serious okay uh, sound. Yeah, Vicky goes, oh, okay, a new one. <laughs> Vicky, I love you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so here we got some uh, pink hydrangeas with Paris. Oh, speaking of Paris, I always, I always think of Paula. I got to see if she got my, um, I sent her an envelope, and I know she's been, you know, busy with her uh, pet's uh, you know, her pet has, not that she has a pet allergy, but that her pet has, um, skin allergy and so she's really been having to take care of her dogs but I wonder if she got the uh, Basqua envelope I sent her a bunch of postcards and a Basqua, Basqua? Jean, Maquette, Mike, Jean Michael's Basqua print well, anyway I just thought of that because I saw Paris I think of, anytime I see Paris I think of Paula yes please make a napkin journal I'm here for watching do a napkin journal <laughs> Oh, I, I put these in, uh, I put these in Happy Mail, uh, My Fairy Treasure. Like, if I send an art card, I put, I always put a napkin in there. Or I, I, I try to. Now, if I send a thick greeting card with a lot of pop-ups on it, sometimes I can't. But I try. I try to put a napkin in everyone. Look at this one. Oh, my gosh. These carnations. <gasps> Look at these carnations. And a bee. Okay, we're going to do something with this. Look at these carnations with the bees. Look at that. Basque, Basque, Basquiat, Basquiat. Then this, isn't that what I said? Bas, Basquiat. Oh, maybe I didn't. Yeah, Basquiat. Okay. I pronounced it right when I was at the museum, but now it's been a it's been a couple weeks and I the the pronunciation is gone out of my brain. But look at these with the bees. And it's a Paris, 1878. Look at this. Yeah, I'm still reading his book. I bought a book. Uh, his, you know, And I've seen the, uh, what's it called, the documentary on YouTube. There's a documentary on YouTube. You can go watch it. It's about an hour and a half or something. An hour and, I don't know. It's quite a long uh, documentary. You can watch it. But I'm reading the book on him. So that is just beautiful carnation paper. I know with the bees, I love the bees. We're going to have to use, especially use that one. 
Okay, so let's keep going. Got a few of those. Okay, yeah, and then this Paris one. So we got those two. Okay, I'm keeping my crinkle tissue. We can stamp on the crinkle tissue. It's excellent paper for stamping on. Yeah, the, it, the documentary is good, isn't it? Vicky B. Vicky, not Vicky, not Miss Vicky. Oh, <laughs> not Miss Vicky. It's our Vicky BR, Alligator Vicky, Louisiana Vicky. I bought my mod Vicky. That's, oh, yeah, you know what? That's a good name. Instead of a mod, we should call video mods VODs. Your VODs. Oh, I've got to write that down. Video mods should be called VODs. Oh, yes. Yeah, not, Vicky just posed an arrow. Not Miss Vicky B. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking the, vo I'm liking VODs. <laughs> Bye, Janet. Okay, oh, she's going for coffee. She's going to be back in a bit. Okay. Grab your coffee. I got to, I even have to take a break in the middle of the show to get some coffee. Or my throat wouldn't last. <laughs> okay. All right, let's look at some more napkin -ish. Loving, I'm stacking. I'm saving the tissue, the crinkle tissue for stamping on. <clears throat> Hi, Lucenia. Anybody else? Trina? Anybody else I missed? Thanks, everybody, for being here. Barry. Hi, Barry. Artsy Blessing. I... I try to say hi to everybody before I hit record, but, you know, people come and go. There's AJ. Hi, AJ. I believe AJ. Now, we've always said friends in the box, the computer, our friends in the box, but I think AJ coined the acronym FIBS, F-I-B-S, to make it an acronym. I, no, I, she was the first person I saw that said that. Who else did I miss? I think I said I had a cherry pie. Crafting Amy, Dasha, Denise, Debbie, just, hey, GCB and Grammy, your happy mail's gone out too. Y'all both won something last week. Mommy, GCB, Mommy and Grammy. <laughs> Who else? Hey, Kim. Two Kims. Kingor, KP. Hey, KP, it's been a while since I've seen you. Good to see you, Leah. Mad Rat snuck in the back door. <laughs> Sand Pats. Pat Van Poppy. Sherry and Sherry Pink. Talking about your detailed cutting, fussy cutting of your girls. Vicky S. and Vasuli, or as it's really called, visually. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We have 100 people here today. Hey, Debbie Boring. So we're going through Happy Mail still. And after this, I'm going to start another, you know, project. But I'd like to do the Happy Mail in its own. Okay, so let's finish looking. Let's look at uh, the rest of Blondie's um, napkins here. But I'm going to go to the Botanical The Atlanta Botanical Gardens are awesome. They have an orchid house. And I haven't been in a couple years. So I want to take the take Cam and a girlfriend and Boo and probably one of her friends and go to the Botanical Gardens and draw. I'll make Cameron draw and we'll take photographs and draw. Yeah. I say make him draw. I don't really have to make him draw anymore. I made him draw in public when he was 11 or 12, but he's he'll draw in public now. But uh, yeah. <laughs> got him over that shyness. You're in the kitchen stealing your food. You have to steal your food. <laughs> I'm mad Dabu. Dabu. <laughs> oh, look at this one. This looks very, um, very, uh, it's so, like ornate. Look at that. Like a medallion. So different. So many different kinds of napkins out there. <clears throat> 
go show them each and every one some pink carnations oh some red poppies we love us some red poppies in our napkin journal okay lasenia thank you for stopping in did i say hi to you flint rock thank you for being here everybody <clears throat> beautiful yeah, we might, uh, I have to see if I got a, something that I can use for, oh, I'm sure we can find something to put together a new journal. Trust me. We can find something to use for a new journal. I've got more journal components around here. Like illuminated books. Yeah, yeah, illuminated books, Carrie. Yeah. Look. Oh, elephant. So many beautiful ones. Some chickens. Chickens. Farmer's Market. Night, Dasha. And then some daffodils. Oh, love them all. Crinkle. Bye, Pam. Thanks for stopping in. Anytime anybody can stop in for a few minutes, I understand. Um, so here's some pink purple hydrangeas. Crinkle. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Oh, I think we saw some like this, either from CB or from Blondie. Tulips. Carnations. So much awesomeness. It's hard to take in. I know they're pretty. Well, Vicki, my my hydrangeas for the past two years, and I and I did get some tips from people to go look at a couple of sites, and I did. And it looks like for the first like eight years, it didn't really matter that I cut them low. You know, every every fall I trim them back. But apparently, you can trim them back too far. And it never mattered the first eight years. But the last two years, they're not blooming. So I looked, and it looks like we trim them back too far. So this fall, I'm going to barely trim them back. I mean, I'm going to trim them back because they get, I'm telling you, they get six feet tall, easily six feet tall. So I'm going to trim them back instead of down to two feet, maybe three feet. I won't trim them back as far. And so we'll see what happens next year. I mean, they're green. Huge, green, beautiful hydrangea plants. But no hydrangea ball. And I usually get big blue hydrangea balls. But it looks like I might have trimmed them back. It's something like so many years you can trim them back, but after that many years you can't trim them back as far. Yeah. So it doesn't look like they're going to bloom this year, but I'll, I'm going to not trim them back as far ne this coming fall and see if next summer if they don't come back. So here's some lilacs and some butterflies. Ooh, love the butterflies. That'll make an awesome page right there. And when I use these, I like to try to use them as, you know, a part of a page. In other words, I don't use just napkins in a napkin journal. I'll use, you know, cutouts, collage, and now we're using the color book pages. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so there's those. And then this, again, I'd not seen this before, and I just took a peek, and I didn't really look at it real close. I said, wait, I'll wait and look at it when I... I'll look at it more carefully when I do the show. But I think y'all are going to think this is some awesomeness right here. And again, they're from Daiso. These are journal pouches. All right, so let me show you how they work as far as I could just guess, because I haven't taken them off the cards. Okay, again, they're from Daiso, but they're bands. Now let me take it off the card. Okay. Take it off the little card. Oh, it's got tape right there. Let me uh, let me cut the tape. The scotch tape to, that's holding it on the card there. There, you put them in your planner or your journal, right? They're planner pouches. Is, what do they even say the name on them? 
plan they're called pencil cases but they're like planner planner pouches look it's got a little zipper how cute are these now you could put sharpies in them or you couldn't put i don't know think you could put a full size pencil let me get a full like a full size pencil yeah see a full size pencil like you know is not going to fit in there but let's just test out maybe the if i didn't have the eraser on there that would probably that would fit but your pens your brush pens which you know that's where we get our japanese brush pens from there's my brush pen case let's put a, let's see if the brush pens will fit in there yeah so your your brush pens will fit in there so you got all kinds of japanese brush pens they'll fit in there like three three of them will fit in there you can get three brush pens in there <laughs> I, I know little planner pouches you could put it over the if you have you know it has to be a hard cover or around your dashboard you know the you know a lot of the girls now I don't have a planner in the in the traditional you know fancy planner techno you know technical world techno world of like with the dashboard but the plastic dashboards that come in the planners that would support this right that would support this because um it's you know hard plastic right so you can't in other words you can't just put it over a piece of paper but you could put it over the outside of the planner or journal planner or journal So, because this will stretch quite, you know, look, so it'll stretch out. So you could put it on a larger, a larger book. I know, right? So there's this one and a, and a maroon one. A pink one and a maroon one. They have the same kind of band on them, red and black. I'm sure they're all different colors. It's called a binder pouch. Binder pouch. so cute so cute I wonder if Miss Vicki B has seen those she needs to know about these I'm going to take a picture and, and Instagram or a picture to see if she knows about these because she needs to tell everybody about these because Miss Vicki B does the planner shows you know nobody does a planner like Miss Vicki B so she needs to show these to her peeps Miss Vicki B needs to show these to her peeps so I'll have to take a picture of this and ask Miss Vicki B if she shows, has seen, has, maybe she has seen these, and maybe she's shown them on her YouTube. But if y'all don't follow Miss Vicky B and you're a planner person, you need to follow Miss Vicky B. Okay. All right. So let's see about doing something. Let's see. Okay. So I want to thank CB. And by the way, if you're just joining us and did not know, CB made this outfit, including the feather duster for Lulu. She made this outfit. The hat, look, CB made this, people, if you did not know. I didn't know. Lynn said it. Lynn said it in chat. Oh, you can make those, Trina. Yeah, I'm sure you can make these. It's just a band. If you have a hair band, a hair band and a pencil pouch, you know? Sew a hair band to a pencil pouch. And you have a planner pouch. They're, they're calling them binder pouch, but I think of them as a planner pouch. Right? You can make those. <clears throat> CB could. She made this. <laughs> so thanks, CB, for all the awesome goodness and blonde woman stamping who sent us the planner pouches and all these napkins. And the, <laughs> I just love this. Where'd it go? Where'd I put it? Where did I put it here? Look, I love this. And she sent the astronomy book. Again, I'm not sure that I can cut all this up. We'll see. I'll have to think about it. So thanks, Blondie. Thanks, Blonde Woman Stamping. Oh, before we go, I wanted to show you those art books. Hang on. I wanted to show you these, and then we'll do, then I'll save this show and start one for a project. Because, you know, my, I, I like to do my Happy Mail Mondays first. Okay, so this is one of the napkins that Blondie sent. Right, it's got all kinds of eggs, and it just reminds me of 
these books, these are books that I have from Mar Mary Jo Koch. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I think she has a third one. She might even have four out, but these were the first two, and I, that's the only two I have. Bird Egg Feather Nest and Seed Leaf Flower Fruit. These are amazing books. And last time I showed them, I think y'all bought them out on Amazon. But remember, if y'all buy an Amazon book used, Paula, Journal Artista. Let me find her Amazon number for you guys. I got it written down right here. Paula's Amazon store, her A store number, so that she'll get a couple of cents off of every purchase. And, and she doesn't know what to buy. She doesn't know who buys it or none of that. But she'll get a couple of cents off of any book y'all buy. So it's Paula's A store, who is Journal Artista. It's uh, journal slash 038 dash two zero. That's Paula's journal, uh, journal artista, her A store, her Amazon store. So if you buy any of this off of Amazon, she'll just get a couple. Of, it doesn't, it doesn't raise the price what you buy, but she gets a little credit for it. Yeah, thanks, Carrie. Carrie put the link in there. Okay, so but let me just show you the couple of these books, and I'll tell. You, I can't even remember what year they came out, but I bought them both in hardback when they first came out. Collins Publishers, Publishers in San Francisco. This one came out in 94, and this one came out after that, I'm sure. I think this was the second one. 98. And I know she has at least maybe two other ones out there, but I have not kept up with her. I think I have a couple of articles in here, on her in somewhere. You know, when any time I find an article on the person, I throw it in there. But anyway, yeah, here it is. So hey, this was out of, uh, I think it was out of Victoria Magazine. Let's see if it has. But she was featured in Victoria Magazine one year. And I mean, the paper, look, it's starting to yellow. The, the article is starting to fade. But I'm pretty sure this was out of Victoria Magazine. So I cut it out. I always try to keep, anytime I find articles on the artist, that I follow, I try to keep those articles. Okay, so, and it's M-A-R-Y-J-O, Mary Jo, maybe, Mary Jo, all in one word, Mary Jo Koch, um, is a, an ortho, orthonological illustrator who combines both authority and humor in her delicate drawings. Her paintings and prints are featured in select specialty shops throughout the United States and Japan. And she accepts commissions from private collectors. This is her first book. This one here. Um, and I guess she has another. She had another one being published was Pond Lake River Sea. That that was hadn't come out yet by the time this one was printed. So bird egg feather nest and seed leaf flower fruit. I'm just going to do a little flip through them because they really are. You th all, the, all the information's helpful? Good, thanks. All right, let's try to flip it this way so you can see from the front. Now, I'm not going to do a you know, full-on review of it or anything, but I just want you to see some of her artwork. And so she does, it's not just the illustration she does, but it's like her handwriting. It's kind of like a journal, right? It's kind of like an art journal specializing in these specific things. In this case, bird eggs feather nest. And when I saw this napkin, it just reminded me of her because there's some drawings in here of some eggs. But all around the edges, it's her, her notes. It's all her journal notes all around the edges on the information. Oh, okay, so you can get Daiso. Yeah, there's DaisoJapan.com. So you can order from Daiso online, not just from their store. So thanks. Thanks, Terry. Okay, so let's just do a quick little flip. So these are beautiful books, and I was so happy to get these two. And, uh, yeah, feathers. I mean, everything with all the little notes. See, look, all the little notes of her travels around looking for all the different. So this is the egg section. So, again, thoughts on egg laying. See these kind of things right here? I mean, it so looks like that. <laughs> Look. So every one of these eggs has the name of the bird under it. Every one of these is a different bird. 
that's laid these eggs. Isn't that awesome? I know, right? And then here's camouflage, how eggs can be camouflaged in the rocks. But look, she painted all those rocks. Look. Isn't that beautiful watercoloring? The fine art egg. They're gorgeous books, and I forget about them sometimes, you know, in the all the books that we have. <laughs> Feathers. I forget about some of the beautiful art books that I have. And uh, go back and look at them, you know, except when something here brings them back to my attention to share with you guys. I know, and it is, they are, and they're educational because she's got so many notes on every single thing. Songbirds, and she puts the names right under them. She like has a little journal notes right under each one, see? And here's an illuminated page, Carrie. <laughs> and this is songs. There's a whole page of the different kinds of owls. And their names are under each one. Bye, Juju! Okay, so anyway, that's Bird Egg Feather Nest. And the other one, I'll do a quick flip, is Seed Leaf Flower Fruit. some pansies right there. I love her calligraphy style there. So look at all the seeds. Seed identification. These are beans. Well, these are beans. I think she has a page of seeds and a page of beans. So these are all beans. Oh, look at all the different kinds of corn. And then here's here starts all the different seeds all around the pages. And wheat, you know, the grasses. Here's barley, wheat, different rye, oats, rice. Isn't that cool, guys? <laughs> Just put them in your cart and then, you know, at least you remember them if they're in your cart. All the flower seeds around the edges. Oh, these are spices. Okay, these are the spices. Nutmeg, you know, all the all spice, all the spice seeds. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back through these. Thanks, guys, for reminding me. <laughs> well, actually, it was this napkin that reminded me. Here's all the different leaves. Yeah, the Pond Lake River Sea. Oh, the other one, I, the, that was the other one I didn't remember. Dragonfly Beetle Butterfly Bee. Yeah, Dragonfly Beetle Butterfly Bee. Thanks, Vicki. Bye, Jan. Thank you for stopping in. Leaf. My cat fell buddy, Jan. And Mr. Bear. Tell Mr. Bear hi. Tell Mr. Bear hi, Jan. Oh, look. Look at this nutcracker. That's like a squirrel, Carrie. And you push his tail, pull the tail down, cracks the nut in his mouth. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and these are all drawings, guys. These are all her paintings. There's no photographs in here. It's all paintings. Oh, look, Rain. <laughs> uh, it's all paintings. There's no photographs at all. It's all paintings, watercolors. Bamboo, the dry lands, 
and then here's flowers. I know. So anyway, guys, I got to share these with you so you know you know what's out there, right? You you know, it's hard to find all the every single kind of thing that you may want to look at. Roses, unless somebody's got it to share with you. Lilies, irises. Show the bulbs. I need to go back through these and maybe make some notes. I'll see if she has anything on hydrangeas. <laughs> Look, a Hawaiian shirt. Fruit. So here's all the fruit section. Berries. Tangy citrus trivia. Discovered by Anna Marie in an, as she's an Italian princess, N-E-R-O-L-I, Neroli oil is extracted from bitter orange blossoms. The princess used the extremely expensive essence to scent her gloves. The oil also has antidepressant qualities. Neroli oil made from bitter orange blossoms. See, I love that. Now, I just had a picture. Fruits. So anyway, guys, yeah, that one, seed, leaf, flower, fruit. And it's Mary Jo, I guess, Mary Jo. Okay. So anyway, all right, guys, let me uh, save this. And then we'll come back and we'll tr try to do some kind of a napkin journal. We've got all this awesome goodness. Yeah, we might have to, have to do an awesome giveaway, and uh, a napkin giveaway, too. So, All right, guys, so thanks for watching the two hours of M Monday Morning Mail. And don't forget about this color book, the color book that Aura sent me to show you guys. It's just out, Fanciful Animals, a coloring book. And if you look for her, probably either on Amazon or her website is, it's on the card here, her website, Art by Aura, A-R-T-B-Y-A-U-R-A dot com. Art by Aura. And this is one of her cards she sent me. So look for her new color book. And again, it's in the, it's in the darker gray and the lighter gray one of each so that you can do shading and not have the line show so okay guys all right so i will be right back